All right, so I'd like to introduce you to a proof of concept I've been working on. This is a 3D model, and this is right here, um, the 3D model of a 3D printer. <laughs> Confused yet? Yes. So I wanted to challenge myself and try to figure out how to wrap a model around a real model in real life, uh, meaning that this actually exists and is functioning over here. Okay, so you can see that carriage that is the same carriage that's here. So what I did, I, I brought in the actual 3D still into ZBrush and started using it as a, a template to design the creature. My initial sculpt was that. And then I brought it into a further stage of development where I could break up the model into different parts. That way it could actually be printed. And right now he's printing his own tail. It's a good day for the Joy Rider. Uh, a little bit about my rig. This is a uh, Prusa Mendel GT2 gears, six millimeter steep rod for the Z axis, herringbone gear, J head reamed out to 0.45. ramps. This cool little thing I made. See for my fan, keep ramps cool. 30 amp regulated power supply. And he lays some plastic down on a heated bed. Right now you see this green goo right here that it is ABS glue on Kapton tape. So that way I can keep the heat down on the actual bed and the material sticks to it rather well. That initial layer is very important. You want to keep that as flat as possible for the ultimate detail. Right now he's printing at uh, 0.15 layer height. Alright, oh I got glass uh, PCB cork, and the cork is hollow in the center, it's got cut out. Uh, this is polycarb, same polycarb they use with bulletproof glass, it's just a thinner. It's, I think it's called Prytec. It's good for 430 degrees Celsius. Um, so I got that for both of my beds. Got these cool thumb screws. these cool knobs and the old crap switch this is a fan I haven't hooked up yet it's right there actually I find it unneeded to hook this up because actually the software runs the fan quite well in the back uh, custom fan head it's a dragon so it blows cold air onto the model itself it keeps the ultimate detail going. Alright, so that is my rig so far. He'll be a lot happier once he prints his tail out. You have a good one. For those interested in getting into 3D printing, um, I will direct you towards this wiki page called Prusa Mendel. And I, 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 excuse me if I don't pronounce that quite well, uh, it's either Prusa or Prusa, and uh, they are very picky about the pronunciation of that name right there, if you uh, are in the community at all. So, this is a very well documented area. Um, what you can do here first is kind of look at what goods that you're going to need to 
make the physical build. There is a list of parts and a list of the hardware called vitamins. Okay, and anything as a vitamin, I take it as you know a metal part that's going to be added to it. So the idea behind RepRap is to design a machine that prints itself, or prints at least most of itself. Uh, in this case, you have these little joints and stuff, and the actual machine can print those out and then self-replicate itself. What? Did I say self enough there? There we go. Anyway, you can go here and get the latest list of parts. So what you're going to need right off the bat is the plastic pieces. They're a must-have. Um, they look like this. When all put together, uh, they have plates here that you can print out with a 3D printer or you can go to eBay and find yourself a place that prints it out um, for you and you can buy the, the whole kit for about, I don't know, $79, $80. I had a 3D printer handy so I printed my parts out. Uh, that's where I got started. Uh, just be careful. Uh, you know, I would ask whoever you're buying the parts off of, what kind of density they're printing it at. Like, ask them, uh, what is their percentage of fill? And if it's if it's not at least 80% or above, I wouldn't even buy the parts, personally. Uh, now that I see the difference between, you know, the density of plastic putting it into the pieces, and even better ones uh, provide shells. So you can say that the printed part has two or more shells. Uh, three is a little overkill. So two or three shells, 80% fill equals good part, in my humble opinion. Here's the latest. So this is the technical build I went through, the metric Prusa Mendel which is great in the United States because if you ask anybody about an M8 screw or nut or bolt, they will look at you like a deer in a headlight. So um, when you build this, uh, have a local hardware store handy, but do some research to make sure that they have M3 25 millimeter bolts. Uh, if not, I would highly suggest McMaster's car. It is a great website and you can get all of this stuff pretty cheap um, all at one shot uh, the whole machine is going to cost you about eight to nine hundred dollars if you're building it your first time um, I think I even went into a thousand because I made a mistake of buying the wrong electronics so there's ramps and some impronounceable name Sangulinilu uh, but anyway ramps is amazing it, it, it's not even a close comparison between the two so go with ramps it's a little bit more expensive but man is it trustworthy um, again I like to plug a few places that I've been and dealt with uh, UTI machine dot com Oop. Uh, wait a minute it might be dot net or something like that hold on Oh, UTIMachine.com. Weird. So, well, going off the Google site, you can actually get to it. Good place um, if you're into getting your motors and um, some of your electronics. Great place. So this is where I got my ramps. Okay, good prices. And you can you can get pre-assembled kits, or you can assemble it yourself. Again, some kind of common knowledge of electronics is handy, no doubt. But I have seen people with no understanding of electronics uh, build one of these things in the chat channel that I'll show you here in a second. So, good stuff. There's two types of derivative of the plastic. There's PLA and ABS. I want ABS. It's a little sturdier when it comes to the stuff I do and that's uh, organic modeling. I like I like the material. It fuses well with itself. I hear PLA is good. It's it's a little brittle, but it's very um it, it's very easy to sand. So, either or, I like the shininess and color of ABS myself. But uh, sooner or later I want to try PLA. 
oh, uh, there is this thing that you're going to need. It is a hot end. 